You were featured in Pink's Beautiful Trauma. How was Pink? Yes. She was incredible. So I played Pink in her video, Beautiful Trauma, and she I didn't get the chance to meet her. We were like over FaceTime and it was very cool to be able to collaborate with her. She was, I think, on tour at the time. So she was like helping us film this video and she's overseas doing her thing and being amazing. And the choreographers, RJ and Nick, were, you know, extremely talented. They had this vision and it was a very cool part to play it was like back in like the 60s and she's like beautiful and the trauma and kind of talk about like perfection and all these things yeah and kind of that's where i began to start loving you know acting was through dance and all these things any you know anytime i'm able to like perform and entertain people it's that's where i like thrive starting so young entertaining and dance getting thrown up on a stage dancing for X Factor and it being live and having to nail all of you your nervous, so nervous and like having to nail your choreo, realizing like this is live, girl. So like, did you mess up at all? No, thank God, because oh. that would have been really bad. You know, do you ever mess up? Yes. Okay, because yeah, you're gonna do that a lot more of that. Yes, I because mess we, up we a all, lot. We all mess up. One hundred percent. You know how to deal with it. You're like, okay, I messed up. Let's yes, go. yes. You can't get down. You have to just keep going. You get more takes. Exactly. Yeah. But well, the, go ahead. No, go, no, go ahead. You, oh, you go. No, but that's what's very interesting when I began acting and talk about like self tapes now that being so big, being in the room, it was very much like it was like one shot and that was it. Then when like I kind of went from this dance into from what I've been taught at such a young age, everything being perfect, because in dance, there is no you obviously you're going to mess up, but like you're going to get in trouble by your choreographer. It's gonna be a big ordeal. Like messing up is not allowed. So when I got into acting, I'd get a script and I thought everything had to be perfect. So like my dog or somebody would bark or the door would open and I'd hear like a creak and I'm like, oh, gotta I'm Gotta redo it. Yes, I'd be like, I gotta redo it. I don't. And now I'm like, <laughs> no, those, this is like what happens in life. This is real. So if my dog barks and I can play with it, then I'm gonna go ahead and, and make it work but like it's very interesting coming from that perfectionism and yeah. dance and realizing like let that all go into acting you know it's very very interesting i did a, a self-tape yeah not too long ago it's one of the few self-tapes i've done in recent history in recent mm -hmm. times um and i was doing it and i had somebody reading with me and my friend Deneen, she had a couple drinks from some soccer thing that they were watching and they came back to my house and we're hanging out we're gonna order some food and she was in the uh, in the kitchen she knew i was doing the tape and in my <laughs> audition tape i thought it was so good that i'm not doing another tape and you could hear her go Ma, and immediately you hear Shh. <laughs> her, yeah tom told her to shush her boyfriend because she was about to start talking she goes uh he goes Shh. and you hear and i go no nope it was a comedy at least so let him laugh let him go what the hell was that it was loud and i was like you know tough shit i'm not doing it again oh my gosh they... guess what you booked it no i didn't <laughs> oh. <laughs> did not get the part but you know the reason it was it was it was funny because when i read it i go they're gonna go for like a a big dude like uh ethan supply like a you know big strong bearded kind of guy who could be a coach of a team and i was mm -hmm. like I go, I'm, I don't know. I could be, I just said, I'm going to try it because I like it. Yeah. I tried it. And they yeah. said, yeah, he was great. I just, we just want a bigger guy. And a, that's in our mind. I'm like, fine. 